My learning journey can be summarized into four main steps. Step one, how I arrived in the program. Step two, the hydration I received from my instructors throughout this journey. Step three, the enlightenment I gained through reading and assignments. And step four is where I am now, hydrated, well-fed, and ready to feed the next generation. I began this journey trying to strike a delicate balance between my fear of failure and my comfort zone. My decision to enroll was guided by three questions. Am I happy with my current position? Will I be able to impact students? Can I make a difference? All of my instruction was grounded in the seven domains of teacher leadership. Each domain was developed and supported by a list of functions that a teacher leader might perform. This continually whet my appetite to learn more. I learned the value of peer presentations and lively class discussions. There are seven books that played an important part in my growth. The Common Formative Assessment text enlightened me on the steps needed to set up an effective collaborative team. It also explained the impact of common formative assessment on student learning. It illustrated the importance of feedback on student learning and provided resources I could use to support my professional learning team. This book helped me understand that my desire for change is not enough. Change is a process. This text helped me understand the complex nature of school success. This book gave me a pragmatic understanding of the change process. This book gave me a deeper understanding of the complex nature of organizations. It helped me recognize that effectively managed organizations require understanding and attention. This book gave me an appreciation for the role that school culture plays in any school change effort. Destination dissertation helped me focus my dissertation writing efforts and follow a systematic pattern toward my goal of completion. The CNA projects gave me a big picture of the school and the district. I gained insight into a lot of processes that I never knew existed. The organizational analysis gave me a complete picture of my school and all of its components. It helped me understand the most likely areas where positive change can begin. The family and community projects gave me insight into the support systems available to the school that are embedded in the community. My program evaluation allowed me to take a close look at a program that was designed to help students. I learned that these programs sometimes do more harm than good. Aside from this assignment, the PLP was the most fun of all my assignments. I learned another way to assist adult learners. The curriculum design project took me out of my comfort zone and into the district writing team. I learned effective ways to collaborate, compromise, and problem solve. And here I am today, hydrated, well-read, and ready to add my voice to education.